Hello. To run this prime number generator, you'll need to type into a new tab or window the link that you see in this image. Afterward, you can return to this video to learn about the program's features and how to use them. For that purpose, examples are given of tests that were run prior to the creation of this video. Technically, the program underlying this app could generate primes of unlimited size, but in actual practice it depends on the capacity of the computer on which it runs. In this case, the program is running on a free-to-use server that sets a 10-second limit on the calculation time for generating each prime. Some additional time is also required to display each prime, but that time doesn't factor into the 10-second limit. The total time to calculate and display a run of consecutive primes will be referred to here as runtime, as recorded by a stopwatch. Primes of up to 290 digits can be generated within that 10-second limit. In addition, we've set an arbitrary limit of 300 primes per run. To make a run, an N value must be entered within the red box, which will turn green upon entry of a valid number. As an option, the random number box can be used to make an entry. Any number of primes can be requested, but entering a number greater than 300 will yield just 300 primes. To illustrate the process, I ran the test shown in this image. An underlying objective was to generate a list of the smallest of prime numbers. Notice that I purposely stopped the run after generating just 25 primes. I did this to reveal that the calculation time, expressed in seconds, and the number of primes generated, are continually being updated during a run. Also, the calculation time to generate each prime is shown. Notice, too, that an aspect of this program is that it skips primes 2, 3, and 5. No other primes will be skipped under this program. Now this is something else important to know, to extend the list of consecutive primes from any given run requires copying the last prime of that run and adhering to these rules. If the last prime ended in 1, 7, or 9, add 2 to the number and use it as the end value for the follow-on run. If it ended in 3, add 4 to the number. That approach can be performed repeatedly. For example, to extend the list of the 25 primes generated in this run, I clicked the end key on my keyboard and copied the 25th prime, as shown here. Then I clicked the home key and pasted that prime into the input box. It ended in 7, so I added 2 to started a run of 40 primes, with this result. Now I'll go on to show some graphs of tests that were run to reveal ways in which the program performs. This graph is based on 8 runs that were made to determine the way calculation and run times increase as consecutive primes grow larger. Each run generated 300 primes of 290 digits, for a total of 2,400 consecutive 290-digit primes, starting with the first prime of that digital size. The plots reveal that the best fit trend lines for calculation time and runtime are linear functions, for which the equations are shown. The next objective was to determine how calculation and runtimes increase when prime numbers take jumps in digital size. For these tests, a random number was chosen for each digital size, starting with 29, and then increment plus 29, up to 290 digits, for a total of 10 runs. Each run called for 300 primes. The first graph shows that the trend lines for calculation and run times versus digital size are polynomial functions. In the second graph, the trend line is a power function that reveals a continual decrease in the difference by which runtime exceeds the calculation time as prime numbers increase in digital size. As a matter of interest, here's a way to generate unusual primes. In this case, I entered a three-digit random number. Then I copied it several times and requested one prime, with this result. And this is the result of entering a string of sevens. All kinds of primes with initial repetitive numbers can be generated this way. However, when a string of nines is entered, instead of generating primes with repetitive nines, it actually generates the closest prime of higher digital size. For example, 
entering 99 generated this 3-digit prime. And entering 7 nines generated this 8-digit prime. If you have any questions, let us know. Bye.